was going to film in the kitchen because we're actually working in the kitchen today but we have stonemasons out there today on the porch and you can hear everything. They stopped their machine, it is so quiet out there and there's cracks in the window. They're literally looking in my kitchen window. That's the wall they're working on. So I was like, nah, I think I'll go upstairs to film my intro. <laughs> I am so, so excited for this week's video and it is a week in the life Christmas edition and oh my goodness, are we in for a fun time. <laughs> Every single day of the week, we're gonna do something to celebrate the season. So I think this is gonna be a really, really fun week. Let me know in the comments below what something you're doing to celebrate the season this week. I'm also working with another small shop and wow, is it ever a good one. So I'll be sharing more about that later, but for now, let's get started in the kitchen. The butter it's about half a cup of butter then I'm gonna add my herbs here I just do whatever herbs I have on hand this is a bunch of dill that's actually from the garden still and then some rosemary I'm gonna see if I have some Parmesan that would also be really good in there and then in the meantime I'm gonna roll out my dough and obviously the dough is already made I mixed that yesterday evening let it sit overnight but I'll have the recipe down below the chocolate version that I'm gonna do is from this cookbook that I talked about in my Sourdough 101, I think it's called, the video I did recently. So the main dough recipe is from here and then the idea of doing it in a chocolate version is actually from my friend Clarita and I will link her Instagram down below. It is so, so tasty. And then the herb one I just came up on my own but I'm using the same dough recipe for both the herb one and the chocolate one. sheet and hope it doesn't stick. If you have parchment paper, I would definitely set this on parchment paper. We're going to cover it with saran wrap and then we'll pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. For the chocolate version then, I'm just peeling these. It's the same bars I used in the baking video, Divine Bars, and we're just going to peel those. I'll chop them up and just melt them. I'll add a little bit of butter and then we'll spread that on the other dough. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I've been getting more questions about my pots and pans. They are actually 20% off through the end of the year. So if you're still looking for Christmas gifts, I use these pots literally like three times a day, seven days a week. I could not recommend them enough. They also have food storage sets and tea kettles and they just recently announced that they are selling them individually. So they used to only come in these sets, but now you can just buy them individually. So that would make an amazing Christmas gift. So if you're interested, you can find that link in the description box below. But I'm gonna pop these chocolates in here, just a really rough chop. And then I'm gonna add some butter. I just melted a whole bunch of butter before I started, so I had some for both of these. And we'll also use some later then to brush on once they're baked. But we're going to melt this now.
While we're waiting on our second rise for the bread down there, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. I am so excited and honored to be working with Inherit Clothing Company in this video, so I'll just be showing you my outfits throughout the days and hopefully give you some inspiration if you're looking for any holiday outfits or even just cozy winter outfits this time of the year. They are an amazing place. They are a modest boutique. And what I love is they actually design a lot of their own clothing. So everything I'm gonna show you in this video is designed also by Inherit Clothing. Today I'm wearing the Lauren button-up sweater dress. I absolutely love it so much. In fact, my nine-year-old daughter even commented on it this morning. The the buttons are functioning all the way down. It has this tie belt that is super nice to give it some shape, but also it does not have belt loops. Glory be, I do not like belt loops and dresses. The fabric is really, really nice and thick. I'm very impressed with it. Love the V-neck and the fact that it's high enough that you don't have to wear something underneath of it. I'm wearing a size medium and I am 5'7 for reference, so I will have all these dresses linked down below. This dress comes all the way from extra small all the way to 4XL, which is amazing. I love when shops include a lot of sizes. church related festive Christmas things and that is the Holly Trail. Basically it's like a progressive dinner except it's snack version of that and it's just a fun time of fellowship. You can go in whatever order you want, meet people, hang out, visit, eat snacks and all kinds of fun stuff. So I probably won't film much in people's houses just out of respect to them but maybe I can show you some lights along the way. I am wearing the Danny plaid button front shirt and all the buttons are functioning so it is nursing friendly and it is the softest almost like a really soft flannel fabric it's nice and thick as well so perfect for the winter months I'm wearing it with these little Amazon booties and then of course I'll take my big jacket along because it is chilly out there <laughs> plans for today changed a little bit, but I did one thing that was on my list and that is to make eggnog. I think I've had eggnog before, uh, maybe when I was like 13, I don't know, but I don't think I've had any since then. So today I decided to make myself a cup and I will link the recipe down below. I followed everything except I swapped out again the sugar for xylitol, or I used xylitol instead of the sugar. <laughs> And I don't know if I even ever told you, but I actually have a Jersey cow. She had her calf and we've just recently been able to get her milk and it is so creamy and tasty. So that's actually what I used for this. Are you supposed to drink eggnog cold? I think you are, but I'm drinking mine hot. So is that breaking the rules? Let's try it. Mmm, it's really good but I would probably cut back on the sugar. It's really sweet, or in my case, xylitol. But otherwise, I really like it. It's so uber creamy, too. <laughs> so I will enjoy this, but I'm actually planning to head out and do a little bit of thrifting. The kids need some clothes for all the 
festive gatherings, all the things. So that is the plan. I don't know if I can count that as a Christmas special thing. It is for the holidays. So we'll say it counts. I'll try to do a little bit of filming there. It'll likely be tomorrow till I actually can show you my haul, but that's the plan. However, I thought it would be nice to sit down and I have really been enjoying this devotional for the Advent. It's called Come Let Us Adore Him. It's by Paul David Tripp and it has been so encouraging to me but probably what has stuck out to me the most so far is actually his introduction. So I thought I would read it to you. I know it can be kind of monotonous to just sit and read you something. I hope it inspires you but if it's too monotonous I will also put the timestamp in here for once we're actually going thrifting. This is what he says and what has been on my mind so much the last few days. It is a mind boggling, hard to grasp, awesome story unlike any other story ever told. But what makes the story so wonderful and so important is not that its plot is way beyond anything you wouldn't would have ever conceived. What makes this story vital to know and understand, it is not a well-crafted fantasy. The thing that should make you stop in your tracks, activate your heart and mind, and fall to your knees is that this story is real. It took place in real time at real locations with real people. All human history was marching to the specific point in time when this story would unfold and the implications of the events of this story reached to everyone who has lived since. The Christmas story is the story of stories. When writing this devotional, I was brought to a new place of wonder and worship as I considered that that baby boy in the manger was not only a real human baby, but also fully God. For the months it took to write this collection of meditations, it was wonderful to consider day after day that God knew that the only way to fix everything sin had broken was to give us the ultimate gift, the gift of himself. My prayer is that, th that focusing on the glory of the incarnation of Jesus will fill you with wonder too. Permit me to share what motivated me to write a Christmas devotional. I've thought a lot about the danger of familiarity in our lives as the children of God. It is good to be familiar with the story of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It means that God has met you by grace. It means that he has opened the eyes of your heart to what, without him, you would not see or understand. He has drawn you close to his side. He has pulled back the curtain and shown you the deep mysteries of his redeeming plan. He has blessed you with the presence of his spirit, who continues to illumine his truth for you. You are familiar with the story of the gospel of Jesus Christ because the love of God has been lavished on you. But familiarity often does bad things to us. Often when we become familiar with things, we begin to take them for granted. When we're familiar with things, we tend to quit examining them. Often, when we are familiar with things, we quit noticing them. When we're familiar with things, we tend not to celebrate them as once we did. Familiarity tends to rob us of our wonder. And here's what's important about this. What has captured the wonder of our hearts will control the way we live. Let me give you an example. Pretend that you have moved to a new neighborhood and the first morning when you go out to walk your dog, you happen upon a beautiful rose garden. Although Fido is yanking on his leash, you just stand there blown away at the display of early morning beauty that is before you. You can't wait to get home to tell your family what you discovered and you're excited about taking them there to see it too. But as you walk by that garden day after day, something happens to you. Within a few weeks, you walk by without stopping and in a few months, you don't even notice the roses anymore. Familiarity has done this to you. What you once celebrated, you now don't even notice. Sadly, many of us aren't gripped by the stunningly magnificent events and truths of the birth of Jesus anymore. Sadly, many of us are no longer gripped by wonder as we consider what this story tells us about the character and plan of God. Sadly, many of us are no longer humbled by what the incarnation of Jesus tells us about ourselves. We walk by the garden of the incarnation, but we don't see the roses of grace anymore. Our eyes have gone lazy and our hearts have grown cold. I know how easy it is for me on any given day to forget who I am and what I have been given in the person and work of Jesus. Other things in life capture my attention and the allegiance of my heart. 
Other things rise to levels of importance in my mind way beyond their true importance. And when other things captured and control my heart, little room remains for wonder and worship. Familiarity often means that what is very important may no longer exercise important influence over us in the way it should. So I write this devotional with a prayer that God would use it to recapture your attention. I wrote it with hope that this amazing story would reactivate your awe. I hope that as you read, your heart will be surprised by things in this story you've never seen before or maybe haven't seen in a very long time. I am going to ask you to come with me, kneel down, and look into that manger. I will ask you to look up and listen carefully to the song of the angels. I'm going to ask you to examine the wonder of the shepherds, and I will help you to grasp how this story is meant to enliven, motivate, excite, and transform you. That is part of the introduction to this devotional, and that whole theme has really I've just been thinking about it a lot. We've been going through some pretty hard things in our personal lives and it's just been a time of a lot of prayer and seeking the Lord. And I just keep thinking about like, what is Christmas really about? And I feel like I've kind of over the years lost that awe and wonder and just worship of the King and kind of become too familiar with it. And so this year, that's one of my big prayers, just that throughout this month, I don't forget. And in fact, not only not forget, but rather that it's reawakened in me just the awe and wonder of Jesus coming down to earth as a baby. So that is something that's been on my heart, on my mind a lot the last few days. I'm gonna go ahead and finish enjoying my eggnog. Oh, and I wanna show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Gia Swiss Dot Long Sleeve Maxi Dress. I have had a good happy amount of these shirred top and then kind of the wider skirt dresses. And this is definitely one of the first ones that I do not have to keep worrying about my neckline, which I love. It stays on top of my sleeve and it doesn't fall down in the front. So I love that. The back scoops just a little bit like that. It has a beautiful texture throughout. Isn't that Swiss dot so fun? And then the sleeve is also really fun. I love the little ruffle on the end here. The entire dress is lined. Wait, did I spill on myself? But the tiered skirt is really fun and it is honestly so comfortable. I should probably be wearing this on a Sunday, but here we are and also I'm not wearing beige. <laughs> I've realized I gravitate a lot towards beige and white. So here we are in some color. This dress also comes in a size extra small to 4XL. Okay, let's head out there and see what we can find at the thrift store. Cheers. Angels we have heard on her Sweetly singing all the plains And the mountains in reply Echo in the joyous dreams Gloria In excelsis Deo Gloria It is the next day now. We are back from our shopping trip and I would say it was successful. The kids just needed clothes that were fit to go to all these fun holiday events and just in general I feel like they just needed some more good clothes so first up for Avi I picked up this cute little dress I love the fabric in it I think is super fun this time of year I feel like the stores are just kind of loaded with all the very very Christmassy things and they're so cute but I just can't justify that when I know that in just a matter of weeks you'll not want to wear Christmas stuff. Uh, I got this pair of just very basic H&M black leggings for Avi, as well as this cute little dress. This is Cat and Jack. It has some fun little details in this. I thought this could be really cute with one of her little knit sweaters. And then this top I thought would go well under her overalls. Peanut and Tot brand, not familiar with it, but I love this little Ruffle, which is so fun. And then this is actually new. The tag says $12.99 from Marshalls and it was $7.50 at Once Upon a Child. 
Anyhow, just a fun little church dress for her. I also picked up these snow pants that look brand new for Abby. These are also Cat and Jack. Oh, and I got two pairs of shoes. Okay, I got this little pair for Abby, which is really fun. They just look so comfortable. And then for Lessie, I picked up this pair of, they're just these sparkly church shoes. So I got her a couple things. I actually picked up two sweaters like this, just in different colors. This is Gap brand, and I just love the texture on them. There's also this pink one, and then she loves this one. She loved this little knit, I don't know what it is, llama or deer or something in the pocket. And then this came as a set. It's a skirt with the buttons down the front, and then with this turtleneck, shirt and the vest. I also picked up two pairs of pajamas for her, as well as these are just skinny pants from Old Navy brand for her. Also Old Navy, this fun little corduroy dress, and she loved that it had pockets. This is the one like very Christmassy thing. It's the sweater dress, has really fun little detail on it. This is also Gap brand. For Hudson, I picked up a couple of shirts. This one says Stay Wild, it's Old Navy. Got him this pair of green pull-on pants. Also a pair of pajamas and then one of these black and white buffalo checked shirts. And then I was very excited to find this. It's actually a four piece, five piece suit. So it's got the whole thing. It's got the pants, the shirt, the suit jacket, the vest, and the tie, and he loves it. Just this morning, he was asking if he could wear the set to someone's house this evening, and I'm like, that would be a little bit too dressy probably for this, and he's like, there's no such a thing as too dressy, mom. <laughs> he just loves dressing up. I got this dress for Cairo, which is fun. It's a pretty wide dress, has some really pretty embroidery on the sleeve and then wood buttons in the back. This is a Gap Kids dress. It's corduroy, obviously with the animal print. And she loves this one. This is her favorite dress that I got her. <laughs> it's this blue velvet dress that has the tiered skirt. And then I picked up this pair of, they're just this really soft kind of sweatpant for her, just as probably more of a lounge piece that she can wear around the house. So that is everything that I picked up for the kiddos yesterday. I do need to go get their school done. I'm cooking some bones to make a bone broth. We like to, whenever we butcher cows, save the bones and it makes the best bone broth. My mother-in-law actually taught me a way to cook it. It's thick like a gelatin, basically, when it's done. You cook the bones for a number of days with all these things. I don't know, do you guys wanna see that? It's so, so good for you and so high in collagen, and I love it to make cream gravies or to make soup or whatever I'm doing. So I'm really excited to have some of that in the freezer again. But for our festive activity today, I thought it would be fun to do some gift wrapping. So, we are very comfortable and cozy today. My pants and cami are both from H&M, and then the cardigan is, again, from Inherit. It is the essential long and soft cardigan in the color cappuccino. I got a size medium, fits true to size, super comfortable and cozy, love the pockets. It is so well made. And if I had to pick two words to describe this, it would be buttery soft. <laughs> so that is the outfit of the day. I am working on my broth here. So basically I cooked the bones at 425 for one hour. And then I added a bunch of celery, some carrots, two onions, and then a can of tomato paste. And then I have some herbs. So I'm gonna put in a couple of bay leaves as well as some black pepper and then a bunch of parsley and you can do whatever herbs last time i had some other herbs on hand just kind of whatever i have on hand and then i'll fill this with water cover everything and then we let it simmer for two to three days and then freeze <laughs> Why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be? 
which is by your happy song. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. today we are getting ready to clean hopefully the entire house I've already got started so we'll see if we get that done but today I am wearing the Remy skirt in Rosewood and it is so comfortable it's this like stretchy denim fabric and I would say fits true to size I'm wearing a size 6 and it comes in two lengths. I think it's a 26 inch length and a 29 inch. I'm wearing the 26 inch and it hits just below my knee. And then I'm wearing actually Josh's sweatshirt. This one is from These Stones. And what's Abby wearing? See him in the mango lake, whom the choirs of angels praise. Mary Joseph, lend your way while our hearts in love we race. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. week I've ever done a week in the life but it is what it is I'm sorry for the bad lighting today I'm wearing the Marty sweatshirt dress I wore this I think in my last vlog y'all this is my new favorite athleisure piece in my wardrobe it is so comfy and cozy and the bottom has this it's almost like fleece maybe it is fleece I'm not sure what it's called it does have a hood which is really fun. I'm wearing it in ivory. It has these little thumb holes. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, it hits me right below the knee, which is rare for sweatshirt dresses. And this one also comes in extra small all the way to 4XL. I believe everything I've tried on this week so far, that has been the case. I did not actually realize that before, which I think is wonderful. I will be living in this throughout the winter, no doubt. But, oh my word, I can hardly contain my excitement. So, my sister and brother are actually on their way here right now. So Josh and the kids are clueless that they're even coming. They should be arriving later this evening. It might be like 8.30 or 9 this evening. So I am so excited. My brother actually has not seen Josh for two years, actually like exactly two years, two years ago at Christmas. So Josh isn't a super like expressive person. So I'm really curious to see what he does and I'm sure the kids will just go crazy when they see them. Let's start heading up to the attic. Obviously we did a lot of like painting and that kind of thing up here before that family came for a number of weeks. So I don't have any of that kind of work to do today, but we just haven't really picked up since then. There's still blankets on the floor and beds need to be made. I need to make sure we have towels. I need to sweep the floor and things like that. So anyways, I have a couple hours to do that while Josh and the kids are at the barn. So I'm gonna try to crunch that out. If you are new here, I am originally from Canada. So that's where the rest of my family still lives. So we live literally 30 hours away from them, which is so far. To say that I am beyond excited is a poor understatement.
hang out in the little girl's room because there's so much going on downstairs, but we are actually getting ready for a really fun little outing. Maybe a little bit hectic because I decided to take all of the kids, but we will see how it goes. Everybody wants to spend time with my brother and sister who are now here, which by the way, that was epic. It worked so well to surprise Josh and he was absolutely shocked. I mean, you saw that expression on his face. He was speechless. He just looked like a blank stare for like five minutes. It was so funny. Anyways, but we are really loving spending time with them. I am wearing the Emerson dress today in tan. It is so comfortable. The top feels just like you're wearing a t-shirt and then the skirt has these really pretty pleats all the way down but still in that kind of t-shirty feel. So it definitely kind of feels like a lounge dress with how comfortable it is, but the pleats definitely give it a little bit of class while you're at it. And it is midi length. How far do I need to back up? <laughs> and I'm wearing the same boots I've worn probably every single day this week, but they are my current favorites. enjoyed that today. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to check out Inherit Clothing. I'll have all the links down below. Check out their sale and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Golden, golden thing.